Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in this lecture we will be working on Memento design pattern. As in the previous lecture we have covered design pattern and also we have covered factory based design pattern. Now in this lecture we will be main focusing on Memento based design pattern. We will be covering practical as well as theory part of design pattern. Okay. Now Memento design pattern is kind of behavioral design pattern. Now the first question arises where do you need the Memento design pattern? Now suppose you have a situation where do you have an object having certain values in it and a few of the fields on the form are binded with those design uh, with those values. Now suppose uh, at the end of the form you have two buttons one is update and cancel. Now if the person want to update then those values will get back to the original source and get the original source updated. Now what if the person want to cancel the changes? Now there are two things while cancelling what you have to do is you have to replace the updated value with the original values now you have two ways first to getting that uh, like the original value back from the database or whatever the source was and replacing the updated values with the original value and the second is initially when you got the values from the source you keep one more copy of the same uh, values into the same class a class objects in and whenever the uh, like the person asks for cancelling the changes you can just replace the values from original object object uh, like original copy of the object to the updated values now with this you can have the state original state of the object along with you during the like whole processing now this is what momento design pattern now momento design pattern allows you to keep snapshot of original object state which can be reverted any moment of time if required in other words momento is a way in which uh, with which you can capture an internal state of any object without violating encapsulation now uh, this theory will uh, be more clear when you will be working on practical side now before going for that let us uh, the example which i told you like suppose we have this example in this these the three fields are coming from the database or uh, any source now you have two choices one is update and uh, the second is cancel uh, just forgot this is modified it is just in check to whether the values got modified or not now we have just two options main one is update and cancel update will uh, like update the values from this text uh, text fields back to the or original object and do the update uh, like permanently but what if you change the value on the form and you want to cancel so what uh, cancel will do it will uh, change the updated values and replace it with the original values now this is the example which we will be covering now let's come to the practical part now we have this example suppose this is modified will tell us like whether the values got modified or not okay now I click on now it is showing values got modified now if I press cancel it will cancel and replace it with the original values now suppose after changing some values I click on update and then I try to cancel it is not cancelling the object now this is what our purpose is now how this is done let me show you we have two classes one is employer class and second is employer class clone uh, and some example in other example people uh, will be using uh, memento instead of this clone but uh, like I have habit of using the clone because as it is a clone of this uh, original class now the original class is having three prop uh, three uh, properties one is first name last name and address and second we have the same clone class which is having all these three properties the difference which main class is having it is having one more object that is object of this clone class now what we are doing whenever we are initializing the values we are initializing clone object with the same values what the original object is having now what happens is we have these two methods one is revert and second is is modified is modified is just getting you the values whether the values got modified or not but revert is what it is doing it is replacing the current values with the original values okay now let's come to the form in this form in the update what we are doing is we are uh, completely modifying the values from that whatever the text in the text box we have and uh, assigning it to the object now what if what we are doing on cancel cancel first we are calling this revert method now what this revert method is doing it is replacing the current values with the original values which we have assigned to this original object now after this we are just repopulating the values in the text box from the object now this is what we are doing now this um, is modified thing is kind of what I use generally so it is just an optional and even these all revert methods are optional just the main thing is you keep the original copy of the same object okay 
now this is what momento design pattern is now coming to the next now as uh, now what we have discussed uh, like what we have seen is we do have two classes one is the original class with the properties and the second is the clone of the same class and we do have uh, when we initializing the values we are initializing the same values to the original class as well from the source or from the data suppose these are coming from the database or some other source so we are initializing with the same values now with this we can do is we can check whether the value got modified or not and if the person want to revert we can revert this value current values of this object to the like from the original values now this was whole about momento design pattern it is very short but it is very helpful and uh, most uh, most of the places when we are using conventional ada.net these uh, methods are important because unless uh, let me tell you one more thing now why this is modified is helpful suppose you have uh, you want to click uh, you, the person want to update now suppose what happens is the person didn't do any update now whenever the person is not doing any update and you are still updating uh, firing the update statement to the database then it is like extra overhead to the server so what i mostly do is i check whether if obg employee dot is modified if it is modified then i do the update task like send uh, like suppose if, if here we want to send the same values to the database or something like that so this method uh, do help me so uh, this is what now the momento design pattern generally is used when we ha do have a do have ado now the link and entity has came it has certain more advantages over it uh, like this but when you are using conventional ado dot and then momento design pattern is very effective to use and very important now suppose uh, if you have any question in this lecture uh, uh, i suppose like i have clear my point with the momento design pattern if you have any question you can directly reach me through my email id and the code of this uh, uh, like application which we just gone through uh, will be uploaded on my website that is textfire.in if you want to download you can just follow the link below the video and even if you want to have question you can just contact me through my skype email id and uh, through my phone number also so keep learning stay healthy be happy